Sinimbu brought me to Lagos State Government, made me GM L A S I M R M, General Manager of LASMA, Sherman Wolf, now Special Advisor on Drainage. Joe Ibukwe, welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to listen. Okay. We all know that Joe Ibukwe is the kind of person who I said it before is so love drunken with his principal, his party, and the president. These three people, if you want to have, if you are bored and you want somebody to, you know, to discuss with, uh, just go to Joe Ibukwe and say something negative about this administration or say something about Jagaban. Ah, you will be so on board. Yes. Maybe you're feeling dizzy, he's talking to you. You will, you will be so on board because the manner he's going to handle that issue, you are going to be wowed. He does not hide it. In fact, for these people, he will turn against his own people, that is the Southeasterners, which he have always done on various occasions. There is a detail, please stay with us. A chieftain of a ruling or progressive Congress, APC Joe Ibukwe, has taken his time to praise the national leader of the ruling or progressive Congress, APC Bola Tenembo, by listing different things Bola Tenembo did for him. According to a post he made on his Facebook page, Joe Ibukwe stated that Bola Tenembo brought him, Joe Ibukwe, into Lagos state government, made him the director general, Lassimara made him publicity secretary of the AC, ACN, and APC in Lagos State. Speaking further, Mr. Joe Ibukwe said that the same Bola Tenembo made him chairman of Landing Office and now special advisor in drainage, special advisor to the government of Lagos State on drainage matters. Joe Ibukwe post rates. Asiwaju brought me to Lagos, made me the general manager, last mirror, made me the AC, ACN, and APC Publicity Secretary in Lagos. The same as Sewajo Foundation made me chairman, WAF Landing Office, and now Special Advisor to Governor of Lagos State on drainage matters. This is really a good one from Joe Ibukwe. It is good to appreciate someone who helped him one way or the other. Though, Bola Sinembo has helped Joe Ibukwe, but many people are still against Bola Sinembo. 2023 presidential ambition. But be it as it may, we'll have to wait till 2023 so as to know whether Nigerians want him or not. What is your take on this? Like I said, people who are coming out to attack Sinembo that, you know, he's not a good man, they're not, no, they're not saying the truth. Sincerely. Because why I'm saying I'm not saying the truth is that they are where you enter and they will tell you that they can vouch with their life that he's a good man. Why? He has helped them. He has helped them. And they are eternally grateful. See, Tunumbu, he's a very, very smart man. He knows how to network. He knows how to do business. He has been planning this for a very long time. That is why people will always come out to fight for him whenever he comes out to say he wants to do anything. If he says he wants to do anything, now, he doesn't even need his money. He's very smart. It takes a smart person to say, if I do this thing for this person, and do this, go to this place and do this for this person. If I help people, then they in turn will not, they will be obliged to help me. That is just it. That is it, whether you like it or not. That is why those campaigning for him, I think about one month ago, early January came out and they were like, they're going to be using their own resources that Tunibu did not, they did not ask Tunibu for any resources. And I'm saying, wow, of course, it's, it's, it happens. Then come out now. Come out and say, oh, this is the reason why you don't want Bola Tenembo to be president. Give us reasons. Or, like I will always say, instead of you dwelling on why he's not going to be the, the wonderful leader, saying very negative thing, things about him, like his political rivals are doing, they're not getting it right. They're making him trend more. Yes, they're making him trend more. They're making people know, people who don't know him and knowing him, and they are like, before you know it, they're going to be influenced. This is exactly what happened in 2015, where people never, you know, ah, worry, worry, what happened before? Eh, he did bad, though. He did this one. He offended people. That was what the, all the PDP were saying about him. And before you know it, people like, eh, let us try him and see. That was what happened. But instead of doing that, why don't you go around and tell people, you know what? Competency is key. 
Tell people why Nigeria needs a competent leader. Tell people why we need somebody who is neutral on all grounds. Tell people why, you know, sell competency. Tell them, is this person coming out giving you a roadmap of what he's coming to do? Has he mentioned to you what he's going to do? Is what he's going to do what you want or what Nigeria needs? Sell it to them and that way they get to see that, yes, this man is a good man, but it is not a good man we want right now. We want somebody who is competent, points black. Sincerely, Nigeria does not need a good man now, a good person. I am telling you the truth. What we need is somebody who is going to be, he's not going to be a good man to all. He's going to be a good man to, let's say, Nigeria and Nigerians. How? He will offend people for Nigeria's sake. He is going to change status quo, which means stepping on some toes. That is the kind of person we want. Somebody who don't care if you get offended because he wants, he is doing what he is doing for the best interest of Nigerians. Not somebody who is a good man and tomorrow, uh, because I'm a good man, I cannot do this, so I cannot remove this policy. No. Am I making sense? If you sell competency, I think people will, people will listen to you more. But if you go around saying, eh, this man is doing this, this man is doing that, that one is. So that's a sign. Joy Bokwe is somebody who has always praised Sunubu. In fact, I said it severally. He's so in love. <laughs> He's so love drunken that he has denied his people several times. And he will do it 1,001 times again. He will say it, that he will do it. Why? Because this is one of the reasons. Sunubu has helped him and has made him a good man. Don't forget. Do not forget. Nigeria do not need a good man now. Nigeria needs somebody who is competent. Nigeria needs somebody who is, um, who is a, a strategic think, thinker. Nigeria needs somebody who is an analytical thinker. Nigeria needs somebody who is a proactive, who is proactive with... The person has studied Nigeria's economy. The person has studied our methods. The person has studied our history. And is coming up with solutions to problems. Not somebody who is coming out to tell us just like, oh, Jagaban, what Jagaban said he would do is that he was going to pay for student YAG fees. And I'm saying that is not our problem. If Nigeria is better for the good and Uganda, to pay YAG fees will not be our problem. Am I making sense? Of course. If Nigeria is good and is good for everyone, do you think it's anybody who is struggling to pay YAG? How much is YAG fees? The most important thing there is, okay, after the YAG fees, what next? He would have said, instead of using YAG face, I am going to be creating industries for so, so, so and so amount of people to enable us to reduce the amount of population of unemployed people in Nigeria. That is more, the same sounding like a plan. Okay, time will tell, time will tell. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.